This is us getting ready. It's about 6 a.m., a little bit of hiker explosion, but we're doing all right. We are about to leave, and Dylan asked if we checked for Narnia. Are you ready? Yep. No. <laughs> The Walker Pass segment. We are beginning the climb out of Walker's Pass, and it's kind of cool. It means we are starting the final section of the desert. We're reaching the sort of first uh, big checkpoint or the finish line. So this morning we got a ride with a trail angel named John, who is a river raft guide here in Kern, or well, there in Kern. And then we got back on trail and uh, we had a big climb and it's great weather and the train's good. So we're having a good day. Hey. Uh -huh. Hi. Hey. Look who showed up. It's the star of the show. We have quite the climb today. It's going well so far. I think everybody feels good. The weather's hot, but there's a bit of shade. And uh, our four friends from the last section caught up to us. And so we're really happy about that. It's always nice to have company. I am having a fantastic day. Oh, and I have so many snacks. So, so many snacks, so many snacks. We just finished the big climb of the day. We started at Walker Pass at about 5,200 feet, and I'm currently standing at about 7,200 feet, so solid 2,000 foot climb over several miles. Uh, it's gonna be all downhill from here until the spring. I'm a little bit behind the group, so I gotta catch up, but uh, I imagine they'll do lunch near the water. All right, I'm here with Chief Mayo. And she's gonna try these really weird chips. Can you hold them up? <laughs> that I got. They're baked Lay's, which I love, and they're buffalo. Well, I thought they were buffalo flavored. Turns out they're buffalo chicken sandwich flavored, and they're very weird. She volunteered to try them. I'm very excited. So, Can't wait. all right, Bump, drum roll, please. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. Right? <laughs> I'm really tasting the pickle. Yeah, it's very pickle heavy. There's a little chicken zing. And like, I didn't expect them, the fact that they're baked, mm -hmm. like the healthy mm -hmm. chip, the healthy one. like just, come on, just go all out. <laughs> <laughs> they're weird. They're very weird. Starting to look like the Sierras yet. Well, people, we're gonna do about a 17 mile day today, I think. And if we do that, we'll probably do a 20 mile the next day, leaving about 13 miles into Kennedy Meadow South, which is the start of the Sierra. And uh, it will signify the end of the desert. The first big leg of our journey, which is crazy. It's an achievement. It seems simultaneously like a long time coming and also too soon. Uh, lots of mixed feelings, but What's really wonderful is that this segment's about 50 miles and we're gonna crush that in three days. And that feels pretty good, um, being able to do that kind of mileage without too much trouble. Really, I feel like I've hit a turning point either with my body or maybe my mind or maybe both. And even though it's still hard, everything doesn't hurt anymore. <laughs> um, I have some soreness, but like, it's nothing like the beginning when 
it was kind of crippling. The pain was crippling in my arches and it was really, really difficult. Now it's very doable and that feels good. That feels really good. This going is not easy, y'all. Blowdowns, kind of uneven path, really, really rocky, so it is kind of hard to get your footing. It's tough out here. So beautiful. I just saw my sixth rattlesnake of the trip. Uh, didn't get too close, it rattled at me a little bit, but it went into uh, this little tree right here. I tried to get a little video of it, but I wasn't quick enough. I think I will probably wait for Laura to try to make sure that uh, she doesn't get bit. It's a reptile party out here. Just as I was going back around to make sure I could warn Laura about the snake, I see these two little guys, are they fighting? Oh, there they go. Laura's here. She, Hello. Didn't, she didn't get bit by the rattlesnake, don't worry. I saved her. So we made it over the first mountain this morning and then had a nice downhill and we went to the first water source, which was a nice river where the water tasted great because it, I'm grateful to everyone who fills the water caches for us, but they're big plastic jugs that sit in the sun, and so they taste like plastic. <laughs> and uh, a refreshing river is a wonderful thing. And we're still with our friends, so that was a nice company. And now we're conquering our second mountain today. Hopefully we get over that and have a nice campsite, and, well, get to the campsite early, and uh, get to hang out with our friends some more. Welcome back to another edition of Dylan's Complaining Corner. It was a town day yesterday. We got to Kernville, we got to the hotel. There's a worker crew working on the power lines right in front of our room, and the power was out until 3.30 a.m. when a light suddenly came on with no warning. And until that time, we were able to hear the crews working just outside our room, or at least I was, and I uh, had to endure some fairly bright lights just outside. I felt like I should complain about it and document it in Dylan's Complaining Corner. Thank you so much for watching. This snake just climbed into this bush so quickly and so eloquently. Let's see if I can get... A video of, hi buddy, there you are, hello. We made it to camp, we did 16.7 miles, here's the crew. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Mine is poor David, and we don't know how, how this miscommunication happened. David, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, good night, thanks for watching. <laughs>